Paris. What do you want, Mom? If you don't hurry and get away from that mirror, you'll be late for your first Jell-O broadcast. I'll be late for the second one, too. You're making me nervous. Now, your hair looks all right. Stop primping. Oh, it's a mess. <laughs> hey, Mom, can I borrow your curling iron? Why don't you use your own? I ruined it last night at a weenie bake. <laughs> oh, well, I look good enough. So long, Mom. Goodbye, sir. Now, remember, Philip, be nice to Mr. Benny. He might give you a raise this year. He wouldn't give me a raise if I could read music. So long. <laughs> Oh, Ma, what time is it? It's time for you to go to the broadcast. Now hurry, Kenny, or you'll be late. Oh, gee, I'm nervous. Darn this coat, I keep getting both arms and one sleeve. That's the laundry bag. Take it off. <laughs> gee, I'm lucky you didn't send me out. Well, so long, Ma. Now, Kenny, sing good tonight. And remember, be very nice to Mr. Benny. Oh, can't I give him a hot foot? Not until next week. <laughs> okay. Goodbye, Ma. Goodbye, dope. <laughs> Oh, Mama. Yes, this is Mary. Yes, Mama, I'm just leaving for the broadcast, and gee, I'm so nervous. <laughs> yes, we're all going to be together again, our whole gang. No, no, Mama, they didn't fire Jack. <laughs> I don't know why, they just didn't. <laughs> uh, by the way, Mama, how's Papa? What? He did? <laughs> he broke his leg in a swing contest. <laughs> Why, the old jitterbug. Why? No, Mama, no. No, you mustn't. They only do that to horses. <laughs> well, thanks for calling. I gotta run along now. Goodbye, Mama. Gee, I better hurry. Strawberry, raspberry, uh... Oh, oh, Lucy, Lucy, dear. Yes, Don? Oh, I'm all mixed up again. I know strawberry comes first and then raspberry, but what comes next? Cherry. Oh, that's right, cherry. Then there's orange, lime. It's orange, lemon, and lime. Oh, Don Wilson, I'm ashamed of you. You've only been off the air three months and look at you. Strawberry, raspberry, cherry, orange, lemon, and lime. There you are, darling. Oh, but there's just one more thing. Where are the big red letters? On the box. On the box. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Now run along, Don, before you forget. Don't worry, I've got it. Well, goodbye, darling. Goodbye, dear. Now remember, Don, be nice to Jack. Jack who? Jack Benny. Oh, that's right. <laughs> goodbye. You better hurry up, Mr. Benny. If you don't leave right away, you're going to miss the program. Rochester, how can I leave right away when you're still pressing my pants? I can't go to the broadcast in my underwear. That's right, you have got bow legs. I have not, it's the way the light hits me. Hey, Rochester, look at that smoke. Are my pants burning? It ain't wrong. <laughs> well, give them to me before they're ruined. You know, it's a funny thing, but every time you press my pants, you burn a hole in them. Yeah, that is funny. Yeah, well, don't laugh. <laughs> Oh, well, I'll put on an old pair so I won't be late for breakfast. You know, Rochester, I don't know why I pay you. I don't even know when. <laughs> well, I told you I'd pay you as soon as I went back to work. Right now, I'm short of cash. What's that green stuff in your mattress, grass? <laughs> yes, it's grass. Well, I mowed some of it last night. <laughs> Rochester, you stay away from my mattress. I'm saving that for a rainy day. Well, so long, I'm off the studio. Good luck. Say, boss, can I borrow your top hat tonight? I'm going to the grand opening of a chicken shack. No, you can't have it. And another thing, I wish you'd stop voting for Bill Robinson and all those popularity contests. You're working for me. Goodbye. So long, boss. Well, he's gone now. Come on out, Josephine. <laughs> The Jell-O program starring Jack Benny with Mary Livingston, Phil Harris, Kenny Baker, and yours truly, Don Wilson. The orchestra opens a program with Confidentially. (laughs) 
Well, we're back again, folks, and this begins our fifth year on the air for Jell-O. Four years ago, we served up our first Jack Benny Jell-O program. Forty years ago, your grandmother served the first Jell-O. Jell-O was good news then, and it's good news now. Rich, delicious, tempting, and colorful. Still America's favorite gelatin dessert. And there are always new ways to serve Jell-O. Dozens of inviting treats in all six of those delicious flavors. Strawberry, raspberry, cherry, orange, lemon, and lime. And everyone is crammed with extra rich fruit goodness. Jell-O is absolutely pure. It's amazingly economical. It's quick and easy. And it's swell to eat. Look for the big red letters on the box. They spell Jell-O. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, after 13 weeks vacation, we set sail on the sea of joy. It is my pleasure to bring you the jolly skipper of the good ship Jell-O, Jack Benny. Hello again, this is Jack Benny talking, and thanks, Don, thanks for that corny introduction. <laughs> Jolly skipper of the good ship Jello. Oh, brother. <laughs> that came off a cob with a gray tassel. <laughs> well, gee, Jack, I thought that introduction was cute. Don, this is our opening program. We've got to hit much higher than cute. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> well, anyway, here we are together again, ready to hit that old trail for another 39 weeks. I know we're going to have a lot of fun. Huh? Yes, sir. Do you feel nervous tonight, Jack? No, why should I be? We have the same studio, same gang, same sponsor, and the same old microphone. Hello, Mike. What's new? <laughs> well, that's the only change that I know of. Huh? <laughs> but no kidding, Don, it's good to see you again. Let me look at you. Say, you've lost some weight, haven't you? Oh, not so you can notice it. I didn't notice it, Don. I'm just making conversation, you know. <laughs> you know, people always say that. Huh? Well, now that you mentioned it, Jack, I did go on a diet, and I'm two pounds lighter. Two pounds lighter? Well, that's like taking a bucket of sand away from the Sahara Desert. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't worry, Don. Stay the way you are. You're all right. Huh? Well, Jack, you look as though your vacation did you a lot of good. You look rested. Yes, I had a nice rest. Of course, I had to cut my vacation short on account of the... Uh, American Legion convention here. You know, I'm a legionnaire. I belong to the Lake Forest, Illinois Post. You see? Lake Forest? Yeah. Well, I thought your home was in Waukegan. How do you happen to belong to the Lake Forest Post? Well, uh, now, you see, Lake Forest is eight miles south of Waukegan, and that's where the recruiting officers caught me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I figured you might as well be loyal to wherever you're nabbed, you know. <laughs> Look who's here! Hello, Donzie. Hiya, Jack, old boy. Glad to see you. Bill Harris. Well... Uh, gee, Phil, it's nice to see you again, huh? Thanks. Glad to see you too, baby. Baby? <laughs> Phil, this is a cigar in my mouth, not a teething ring. <laughs> Well, Bill, here you are, back on the job with your boys again. Is your orchestra all rehearsed? Yeah, they know when to laugh. <laughs> I don't mean that. But gee whiz, Phil, you're certainly in great shape. You're tan and rugged. What have you been doing with yourself? Well, I'll tell you, Jack. I've been exercising and going to bed early, and to top it off, I haven't had a drink in four months. Oh, you're kidding. No, if you don't believe it, look at me shake. <laughs> Same old Phil huh? Well, where did you go this summer, Phil? Oh, I worked most of the time And I took my orchestra on tour across the country And by the way, Jack, we even played your hometown, Waukegan You did? Gee, I bet you got a great reception there What hotel did you stop at? The one with a bath in it <laughs> Oh, the new one <laughs> Oh, the Chateau Waukegan <laughs> <laughs> Uh, pretty swanky, isn't it? Yeah, I had a lovely room overlooking a cow. <laughs> now, listen, Phil, there are no cows on the main street in Waukegan. It's a pretty modern, peppy little town. It's peppy, all right. We held a swing contest one night, and a cigar store Indian won it. <laughs> That's a lie. 
Well, Keegan is a regular ball of fire. All right, all right. I was only trying to rip you. I had a swell time there. Well, that's different. Uh, say, Phil, did you meet any of my old gang there, you know, any of my pals? Oh, yeah, I bought a suit of clothes from a friend of yours there, a fella named, uh, um... Julius? That's Julius the guy. That's huh? the guy. Oh, uh, you bought a suit from Julius, huh? Was it a good fit? Yeah, until he let go of the back. <laughs> now, wait a minute. <laughs> don't, don't run down his clothes. Just so happens that the suit I've got on right now, I bought from Julius. That one? Yes, I had it for years, and it wears like iron. Here, feel it. Here. <laughs> you see, the suit might rust, but it'll never shrink. <laughs> and I'll tell you something else, Phil. The last time I was there... Come in. Well, well, if it isn't the effervescent kid, surefire Livingston. Mary! Applause. Hello, Mary. Gee, you look great, huh? Gee, it's great to see everybody again. Come here, Don. Here's a great big kiss for you. Oh. Well. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Mm. Hot giggity. Wow. Hey, control yourself, Don. <laughs> yeah, he only got the blue plate. Oh. <laughs> and, Phil, here's one for you. Plant it, honey. Uh, pull in your lips, Phil. You look like a you bangy. <laughs> Mary, Mary, that's enough. Cut it out now. Okay, remember where we left off, Phil. I won't forget. <laughs> well, come on, Mary, now. How about giving me a kiss? Oh, Jack, not in front of all these people. <laughs> what about Don and Phil? You certainly got modest all of a sudden. Yeah, just in time. <laughs> That's so. What you see in Harris, I don't know. That guy'd kiss anybody with a skirt on. Wouldn't you, Phil? Anybody but Harry Lauder. <laughs> You ain't kidding. <laughs> oh, uh, Mary, before I forget it, uh, I want to congratulate you on your marvelous performance last Monday night in Seven Keys to Ball Pay. Well, thanks, Don. I thought I was kind of clever. Clever nothing, kid. You were terrific. They're right, Mary. You were excellent. Now, you take that scene that you did with me. You know, the uh, one where I... Oh, went... that was one of your best scenes, Mary. It sure was. <laughs> and it was a tough one, too. Yes, sir. Mary and I had to really work to put that one over. We... <laughs> Mary, you were so convincing. I believed every word of it. Well, thanks, Phil. I did my best. Yep, we really went to town on that. Huh? <laughs> but you know, fellas, my favorite scene was when the maniac came in and threatened to kill me. And I had to think mighty fast. You were do... great in that, Mary. Thanks, Don. You weren't even in it. <laughs> thanks, Don. Thanks, Don. <laughs> you know, fellas, if I wasn't so modest, I could talk about my performance, too. If somebody will ask me, for heaven's sake. If you want my opinion, the best thing in the whole play was my telephone conversation with Cecil B. DeMille. You know that long scene? Yeah, boy, was it long. <laughs> All right, fellas, I know you're kidding. You're not going to get my goat not on the first program anyway. Well, Phil, how about playing a number? I'd like to hear the boys again. Huh? Okay, we're all set. Say, Jack, where's Kenny? Oh, he'll be along pretty soon. I'm kind of anxious to see him. He'll probably have a lot to tell us about his trip to England and... I bet he comes back from London with a monocle, a top hat, and a cane. And a fog all around him. Oh, I don't know. Kenny might have been a little slow last year, but now that he's been abroad, he might surprise us all. You know? Come in. Mr. Benny? Yes? On behalf of the 48 states, Canada, and the Hawaiian Islands, I want to welcome you back to Radio Land. Well, thanks. Now, for the third consecutive year, who are you? Just a flat-foot stoogie with a floy floy. Goodbye. <laughs> You know, I could use his head in my trophy room. Play it.
That was What Goes On Here in My Heart, played by Phil Harris and his orchestra. And Phil, I want to compliment you on the remarkable change in your band. But you'd never know it was the same bunch. It is, and I got all new men this year. You have? What came of the boys? What became of the boys you had last year? Oh, they're working. Well, that's good. Huh? <laughs> uh, what what band are they with? You don't think they could get a job with a band, do you? <laughs> well, no, no. Come to <laughs> think of it, no. <laughs> I should never have asked that, fellow. Well, this is a nice outfit you got. Say, I see you've added a flute to the orchestra. Where? Right there. That's not a flute. That's a bean shooter. <laughs> oh, so that's it. All the time I thought I had shooting pains in my neck. <laughs> well, it's a little bit annoying while I'm broadcasting. I wish you'd speak to him. I'm not going to get an interpreter just for that. Well. <laughs> anyway, Phil, I'm glad you got rid of your old game because toward the end of the last season, they were getting pretty fresh there, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, they were getting pretty, pretty fresh. Yep. Say, Jack, what? I just happened to think of something. What is it? What about the fifteen dollars Phil's old piano player owed you? The guy in the old. Hmm. The fi- hey, that's right. He borrowed fifteen smackers for me. Phil, where is that guy anyway? Oh, I've seen him around town. It's fine. He's probably sitting in some nightclub having a swell time with my fifteen bucks. Well, there's one consolation. He isn't eating. Why not? Jack took his bridge work for security. <laughs> <laughs> well, what if I have got his bridge work? He suggested it Yeah, next time you'll keep his mouth shut Yeah He tried to while Jack was taking it out That's a lie I cut this finger opening a can of peaches <laughs> I know what I'll do I'll take the $15 out of Phil's salary You know, Phil, you're responsible for your musician's debts Listen, Jack, I don't even pay my own is that so? Well, I'm going to turn over a new leaf for you. And another thing, before you fire any of your guys, come in. Announcing the Jello tenor, Mr. Kenneth Baker. Kenny. <laughs> Kenny. Cheerio, everybody. Kenny, gee, I'm glad to see you again. Sure miss you, kid. Glad to see you too, old man. Hiya, Kenny. And Philip, old thing. Hmm. Hello, Kenny. And Don Wilson, stout fellow. <laughs> well, that fits. Huh? And uh, where's our little leading lady? Ah, oh, there you are. Yeah. Hello, Marie. You look ripping. Pip, pip. Top hole. I pass. Gee, Kenny, no one would ever know you'd been to England. Uh, shall I wait downstairs, Mr. Baker? Now, stick around, Higgins. Here, give me your hat. I'll hang it up. Very good, sir. <laughs> Say, who is that, Kenny? Oh, I brought him over from England That's Higgins, my valet Kenny, if he's your valet, what are you hanging his hat up for? Oh, he'd do as much for me <laughs> Well, that's thoughtful Can you imagine that, fellas? What does Kenny need with a valet? He's getting too old for his mother to dress him <laughs> <laughs> Well, valet or no valet, Kenny It's great to have you back again Well, tell us something about London How did you like it? Oh, yeah. it's beautiful, Jack It is, huh? And oh, boy, did I have fun Driving around the town I took in everything Oh, you did? I say, I bet it was hard Getting used to driving On the left-hand side of the street, huh? Yeah It took me about four cars Well, I... <laughs> I figured it would there Tell me, Kenny, did you, uh... Hey, Kenny Yeah? Did you get over to Paris? Well, did I? I'll say And, Jack, if I got something to show you Come here a minute, will you? What have you got, Kenny? Yeah, what is it? Uh, nobody can see him but Jack Come here, Jack. Look. Mmm, postcard. <laughs> postcard? And how? Look at this one, Jack. Well, well, the Eiffel Tower. Wow! <laughs> wow. Ain't that hot stuff? Gee, and, and get this one, Napoleon's tomb. <laughs> Pretty risque, huh? Kenny, there's nothing risque about these cars. They're perfectly all right. Why, well, I can't understand that. I bought them in an alley. Now, put them away and don't show them to anybody. Don't worry. What a guy. All right, Kenny, now that you're here, we're all together again. How about a song? Okay, huh? I'm ready. Well, I beg pardon, Mr. Baker, but it's time for your tea. Oh, righto. Kenny, we don't serve tea on this program. You're not in England now, you know. Well, if I can't have my tea, I won't sing. Oh, you won't, hey? You'll sing if I have to send for Chamberlain. Uh, 
Imagine that, Mary. Eight weeks in London and he won't sing without his tea. It's lucky he didn't go to Alaska. He'd have to throw him a fish. <laughs> you said it. Oh, go ahead and sing. Higgins, I'll take that tea. Remember the night, the night you said I love you. Remember, remember you bowed by all the stars who Wandered, it seems, and then there came a day. You loved me too, my dreams had come true, and all the world was mad. But soon the May time turned to December. You had forgotten. Remember, sung by Kenny Baker, England's gift to the United States. <laughs> Congratulations, Kenny. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and now, and now, and now, and now, ladies and gentlemen, as the half hour of our first program is nearly up, I would like to announce that next Sunday night, we are going to offer the first dramatic thunderbolt of the Benny Theater Project for the new season. We are going to present for your amazement None other than our own version of Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer's current success, Yellow Jack. Thank you. This play deals with the situation in Cuba right after the Spanish-American War and the heroic efforts of the United States Medical Corps to forever rid the world of that dread disease, Yellow Fever. We will now give you a preview of some of the highlights of this stirring production. Drama! Oh. Jack, oh. Jack, are you all right? Oh, nurse, these mosquitoes. These infernal mosquitoes are killing me. Did you put up the net? Yes, and they started to play badminton. Oh. <laughs> Suspense! <sighs> Darn that mosquito. Ha ha, you missed me. <laughs> I'll get you next Sunday or my name ain't... Comedy! Who was that mosquito I seen you with last night? That was no mosquito. She just looked like one. Oh. <laughs> Romance! Whoa, whoa! Virginia, Virginia, listen to me. Yes, Sergeant? This is a dangerous experiment, and the odds are against me. If I come out of this alive, will you marry me? What are the odds? The odds are... A hundred to one that you like Jell-O with its six delicious flavors. Strawberry, raspberry, cherry, orange, lemon, and lime. 
You have just heard only a few of the highlights <laughs> from next week's sensational offering. So be sure to tune in next Sunday night. Yellow Jack. Thank you. Play for <laughs> You know, there's an old radio custom that when we have something brand new to introduce, we start off with uh, extra. Well, I have three flashes for you tonight, three new Jell-O puddings. They're new, they're quick and easy, they're delicious as the old-fashioned puddings your mother used to make. Jell-O vanilla pudding, creamy and delicate, made from real vanilla, a grand all-family dessert. Jell-O butterscotch pudding, rich and mellow with old-fashioned brown sugar, tempting to look at, with a color like taffy, swell to eat. Jell-O chocolate pudding, smooth and chocolatey, a prime family favorite, made a new and better way. So there you have the news, not one new treat, but three, three delicious new desserts, a variety to please you all. What's more, all three Jell-O puddings are quick and easy to prepare. You'll find the simple directions on every package. In just a few minutes, you can make a real homemade pudding with a wonderful creamy smoothness. So get acquainted with these brand new Jell-O puddings. A good way is to order three packages at a time. Jell-O vanilla, butterscotch, and chocolate pudding. Ask your grocer tomorrow. last number of the first program in the new Jell-O series, and we hope you'll all be with us again next Sunday night at the same time. Don't forget new thrills, new laughs, and mosquitoes trained by Busby Berkeley <laughs> in our version of Yellow Jack. And by the way, folks, uh, Joe Penner starts his new show next week on the same day as Kate Smith. They are both friends of mine, and I know you'll enjoy their shows. And now, folks, come in. Telegram for Jack Benny. Oh, take it, Mary. Well, it's... Right away, huh? That's kind of quick there. Oh, Jack, it's from Fred Allen. Allen? What does it say? Uh, dear Jack, just heard your opening program. Motion pictures are my best entertainment. Mm. <laughs> That's so. Good night, folks. Start right away. You have to start that kind of stuff. Jill and I married an angel is from the show of the same name. What goes on here in my heart is from Give Me a Sailor. Kenny Baker appears on the Jell-O program through courtesy of Mervyn Leroy Productions. This is the National Broadcasting Company. <laughs> <laughs>